We will be reviewing the UPC 5000 Portable Calibration Standard. Based on the UPC 5000 model chosen, full scale ranges up to 2000 PSI can be reached. Please review the model guide located within the Rice Lake Weighing Systems Conduct Division website for a complete listing of models. For awareness, we also have available our UPC 5100 portable calibrators combining low pressure with vacuum needs as well as our UPC 5200 models when higher pressures up to 10,000 PSI are required. All of our calibration standards are also available in 19 inch wide rack mount versions. All new calibrators will have a calibration certificate traceable to the National Institute of Standards and Technology within the shipping container. When the UPC 5000 arrives in it, is unpacked, you will find the fill port and test port hoses, power cord, and electrical cable contained within the top cover. It is important to read the provided operation and maintenance manual prior to use. If required, one can be downloaded from the Rice Lake Weighing Systems Conduct Division website. Our UPC 5000 portable calibration standard has a self contained internal nitrogen cylinder and once filled provides the downstream pressure source. This system is pneumatic only, using clean, dry nitrogen as the medium. There are no hydraulics, distilled water messes, or tiresome hand pumps. We have built, a safety, we have built in safety features to protect the user, as well as the device under test when attached to the UPC 5000 test port. There is a one-way valve located within the fill port to prevent the nitrogen from blowing back while filling the internal cylinder. A rupture disc is installed in line to prevent the user from overfilling the internal cylinder. This is your fill port. A supply pressure analog gauge is provided for the operator to monitor during the internal nitrogen cylinder filling process but also allows monitoring the nitrogen pressure left within the cylinder during operation. This is your analog supply pressure gauge. Our Reg Series pressure limit control provides overpressure protection downstream from the internal cylinder. We designed and manufactured this quality regulator to be used in our UPC 5000 portable pressure calibrators as well as to be used as a standalone item. Very low torque is required by the operator for required source pressure adjustments. It is a single stage venting type with a spring controlled piston and has an integral inlet filter used to help promote long life. By viewing the pressure limit control analog gauge and rotating the regulator knob clockwise, to a value slightly higher than the full scale range of the device under test, the device under test is protected from inadvertently being overpressured. This would be your regulator as you're monitoring your pressure limit monitor analog gauge. The UPC 5000 calibration standard can be powered by the 12 volt internal rechargeable battery or based on the chosen model, may be plugged into a 120 or 220 volt external power source. This would be your input or the AC. Each calibrator has three full scale operator switch selectable ranges. There are six sets of ranges available based on the UPC 5000 model user has chosen. Positioning of your range select switch three available ranges. Each unit comes with a digital display to monitor the target values. The light emitting diode type, as shown, provides visibility under all lighting conditions. A liquid crystal display version is also available. The display has a typical resolution of 0.02% of the calibrator's selected full scale range. This is your LED display. Each UPC 5000 also has 
a three position mode switch that allows displaying either pressure, volts, or current. Presently, it is shown in the pressure mode, and we'll be working with the pressure mode on this demonstration. This is your mode, display select mode switch. Once the nitrogen source pressure has passed downstream through our pressure limit control regulator, it reaches our patented Orion 2C valve assembly. The Orion 2C valve assembly with vernier control is used for a fine adjustment of the source pressure going to the UPC 5000 test port and ultimately to the device under test. This is the patented Orion 2C valve. Downstream pressure would go to our test port and then to the device under test. The precision vernier allows the user to precisely dial in a selected target pressure without over or under shooting the value. This would be the vernier control. The low torque fine micrometering course adjustment and vent valves are of soft seat construction with positive shutoff. They have adjustable mechanical stops to prevent over tightening and only require fingertip pressure to open and close. These valves will be used to adjust the source pressure to obtain near the target values while using the digital display as a visual reference. The course adjustment valve and the vent valve. Once near the value, the applicable valve will be closed and a final fingertip adjustment using the vernier will be made to reach the exact target pressure. Let's verify what model UPC 5000 we are presently using. By looking at the ID tag, we find the model area is marked UPC 5000 BCCA. This would be your ID tag that would be on the system. By using the model numbering guide located in the operation manual, we now know the unit's required input power is 120 volts AC and has a 12 volt rechargeable internal battery. We will use the 120 volts AC power input and turn the unit on for warm up by using the toggle switch and selecting the operate position. This is our toggle switch. We will now turn the unit on in the operate position. The available user switch selectable full scale ranges for this unit are 500, 250, and 100 psi. 250, 100, 500 psi. For viewing the downstream nitrogen source pressure, our unit has a light emitting diode digital display. This is our digital display. Based on the UPC 5000 BCCA model information. This unit has a push button switch, which will place the calibrator in either gauge only or absolute only mode. When viewing the digital display area, a small light bar will be lit near the applicable marking to provide the user a visual acknowledgement of the mode the calibrator is in. This is our absolute gauge switch. And as we push it, we'll see the light bar change from gauge only to absolute only. When used in gauge only mode, there is an additional push button switch labeled zero. If needed, prior to doing a calibration, this would be pushed to tear out any erroneous display reading. This would be our zero volt button. We would push it to tear out. The reading on the display is now zero. Now we'll use the previous information to visually demonstrate the process of using the UPC 5000 in pressure mode. Verify the UPC 5000 is switched on. Verify the supply gauge indicates there is an adequate amount of nitrogen within the internal cylinder. That would be our supply pressure gauge. There is adequate pressure. Verify the course adjustment valve is closed by using thumb and forefinger 
to gently rotate the knob clockwise until closed. It is closed. Verify the pressure reading of the pressure limit monitor analog gauge is at zero pressure. In this case, it is at zero. If it was not, we would rotate the knob counterclockwise to reach the zero pressure. That would be the regulator knob. We would do counterclockwise until the gauge reached zero pressure. Verify the vent valve is open by using thumb and forefinger to gently rotate the knob counterclockwise until open. The vent valve is open. We would now need to review what item we are testing. In this case, we are going to use a hypothetical device. The di device under test has a full-scale pressure range of 400 PSI and is a gauge-only type device. Verify the right-hand three-position rotary switch is in the pressure setting. If it is not, we would adjust the setting. This is our display select. It is in the pressure setting. Push the absolute gauge push button switch to place the display light bar next to the gauge marking. It is already in the gauge marking. If it was not, we would push the absolute gauge button to be sure we were in gauge only mode. Verify the left hand rotary range select switch is in the 500 PSI position. If it is not, adjust the setting. This will place the UPC 5000 full scale range above the device under test 400 PSI full scale. It is in the 500 PSI range. Please note that the UPC 5000 model chosen must have a full scale range equal to or above the device under test full scale pressure. At this time, the device under test would be connected to the test port either directly using an adapter or using the included test port hose. For this demonstration, we will consider that completed. The device center test would be attached to the test port, again, using either the included test port hose or the adapter. The system and 400 PSI gauge only device under test preparation is completed. We are ready to begin the calibration. Push the zero switch button. This will zero the system. The display is zero. Close the vent valve, valve by using thumb and forefinger to gently rotate knob clockwise until closed. These are soft seat valves. We just need to feel that they are closed. Do not over tighten. Rotate the pressure limit control clockwise while monitoring the analog gauge to reach approximately 450 PSI, which will limit the pressure downstream to the device under test. This is our pressure limit control regulator. We'll be monitoring this analog gauge, the pressure limit monitor. We are slightly above 400 PSI. For this demonstration, we will consider the need to verify a target point of the device under test at each direction, one going toward the DUT's full scale pressure reading and the other point returning towards zero. To reach the first target point in the full scale direction, using the course adjustment valve knob, Slowly open by using thumb and forefinger. Gently rotate knob counterclockwise while monitoring the LED display until pressure raises near the target point. Stay below the target value. Do not overshoot. Once the pressure is reached, close the course adjustment valve by using thumb and forefinger to gently rotate the knob clockwise until closed. Oh, 
In this case, we are near 132 PSI. The vernier will be used to complete the process by using thumb and forefinger to gently rotate knob clockwise until arriving at the exact target value of 132 PSI. To reach the second point in the zero direction, using the vent valve knob slowly open by using thumb and forefinger, gently rotate knob counterclockwise while, while monitoring the digital display until pressure drops near the target point. Stay above the target value, do not undershoot. Once the pressure is reached, close the vent valve by using the thumb and forefinger to gently rotate the knob clockwise until closed. In this case, we are near 105 PSI. The vernier will be used to complete the process by using thumb and forefinger to gently rotate the knob counterclockwise until arriving at the exact target value of 105 PSI. Once all required target values have been reached, the calibration process is complete. The pressure limit monitor knob is to be rotated counterclockwise until the analog gauge returns to zero. We are now rotating counterclockwise. The pressure limit control analog gauge is now at zero. The vent valve is to be opened by turning the knob counterclockwise slowly until the LED display has returned to zero. At this time, the device center test would be disconnected from the UPC 5000 test port and the power to the UPC 5000 would be turned off. The device center test from the test port would turn the unit off. Please remember this overview was completed for informational purposes. The operation and maintenance manual should be read and understood prior to operating this or any instrumentation. Our calibration standards, as well as all of the Rice Lake Weighing Systems Conduct Pressure Instrumentation products were designed and manufactured such that multiple individuals are able to get the same results. Please take a moment to visit the Rice Lake Weighing Systems website to review the Conduct Division Pressure Instrumentation area. Don't hesitate to contact us for further information on this calibration standard or any of our other Rice Lake Weighing System products.